everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the braided cable ear warmer, which you can see here in the photo in front of you. I also have my sample one here. This is a beautiful cable ear warmer, fairly quick to work up once you've gotten the hang of the cables. And today I am working it in this Selkirk worsted yarn by Fleece and Harmony. It's a beautiful pure wool yarn. Uh, it is a worsted weight yarn, but it's a little bit lighter uh, than a worsted weight. So if you're looking for something to substitute, I recommend a light worsted weight yarn. But this is a beautiful yarn. Uh, it's minimally processed, locally sourced, and uh, just a pleasure to work with. There's links to this in the description of this video. Also there you'll find uh, links to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and it's free to follow there on my site. For this pattern you're going to need one skein of this worsted weight yarn. There's about 200 yards per skein. You're not going to use all of it. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and just a yarn needle for sewing the seam of your ear warmer together. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments and uh, also subscribe. Check out some of the other hat and ear warmer patterns that are also featured here on Rich Textures Crochet. Now our ear warmer pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to work our short rows uh, and work it sideways and then seam it together in the end. Uh, the band is about four inches thick and it fits an adult size head. If you would like to change the size, so it fits between 20 to 20 to 23 inches, if you'd like to change the size we're simply going to crochet to the length that you desire uh, when it comes to working your cable pattern. So start by making a slip knot and we're going to begin by chaining 21 chains. And 21. Once you have your 21 chains worked, you're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook and then into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one you have a total of 19 stitches. We're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to jump right into our cable pattern. So we're going to start by working a half double crochet into the first stitch. The chain one does not count as a stitch. We're then going to work a front post double crochet in each of the next two stitches. To work your front post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook, around the post from front, through the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your first front post double crochet. You're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the next. You're skipping the two tops of the stitches that you just worked. So you want to make sure you're working into the next stitch and work a half double crochet stitch. We're now going to begin the cable pattern. And we're going to begin by skipping the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, four. Once you've skipped the next four stitches, you're going to work a front post double treble stitch in each of the next three. To work your front post double treble stitch, yarn over three times. You've skipped those four stitches. Around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook from front through to the back, out through the front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, 
yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through the final two loops. That's your front post double treble. We want to work one of those in each of the next three stitches. So we've done our first, yarn over three times into the next stitch, work a front post double treble stitch, and work one more into around the post of the next stitch. Just like so. Now skipping the next three half to, uh, three stitches of the previous row. So if we're looking back at the top of our stitches in our previous row, we have one, two, three. Skip those three stitches and work a half double crochet into your next stitch. These half double crochet stitches are going to work as sort of an anchor for our cable stitches. You're then going to work in front of these last three stitches made and you're going to front post double treble in each of the last three skipped stitches. So we have these three skipped stitches. If we pull up our cables, we can see them. One, two, three, and then we have our half double crochet. So we want to work in each of these three skip stitches. So yarn over three times, bring your hook in front of your work and move back to the first of those skip stitches. Insert your hook around the post from front through to back, out through the front of that first skip stitch. Yarn over, draw a loop, then yarn over and pull through two, four times. You're going to do that for each of the skip stitches. So that was the first one. Yarn over three times, bring your hook back into the next skip stitch around the post. Work your front post double treble. And repeat for the last skip stitch around the post, just like so. So you should have these three front post double trebles crossing over in front of the first three that you made. It looks a little wonky, but once we work our other rows, they will even out a little bit. So then in your previous row, you're going to skip those next three stitches and half double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to, over the next three stitches, work three front, one front post triple stitch in each of the next three stitches. So this time yarn over twice, bring your hook in front, around the post of the next stitch from front through to back, out through the front again, work a front post triple. And you want to work three of those, one in each of the next three stitches. Half double crochet into your next stitch. Work one front post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. And then half double crochet in your final stitch, which is the top of your turning chain three. This brings you to the end of your row two. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work a return row. And this row, we're going to half double crochet into our first stitch. Then work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. To work your back post double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook and back of your work and insert from the front around through the back and out through the front again of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop and draw, yarn over and draw a loop through the two loops on your hook twice. And that's your back post double crochet. 
So repeat that around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next 13 stitches. So we're working half double crochets in each of the stitches all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. Make sure that you're not skipping any of the stitches. Sometimes they can get a little twisted in your cables. Just make sure you're working straight across. Once you come to your final three stitches, you're going to work a back post double crochet around the next stitch, and then another back post double crochet around the next, and finish off row three with a half double crochet into the top of the first stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For row four, half double crochet into your first stitch and then work one front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches. half double crochet into your next stitch. You're then going to continue working your cable pattern, this time working a front post triple around each of the posts of the next three front post stitches two rows below. So when we're working our cables we're always working them around the front post stitches. So yarn over three uh, twice because we're working a front post triple and bring your hook in front and insert it around the post of the first uh, front post triple two rows below and work a front post triple stitch. You want to do that around each of the next three stitches. In behind your cables up top you're going to skip those next three half double crochet and then half double crochet into your next stitch. Next you're going to skip the next four stitches and around the post of the next front post stitch two rows below you're going to work a front post double treble. So round over three times, skip those next four stitches around the post of the next front post stitch two rows below, work a front post treble and you want to do that three times. So there's the first stitch, front post treble around the post of the next front post stitch two rows below, And then one final one around the next front post stitch, two rows below. In your previous row, you're going to skip the next three stitches and then half double crochet into your next stitch. We're now going to work behind the last three front post stitches made and work front post double trebles around the posts of the first three front post stitches that we skipped. To work in behind it's a little bit tricky but you're going to pull these loops forward of the three stitches you just worked. Yarn over three times, insert your hook down in behind those three stitches you just worked, 
and around the post of the first of the three skipped front post trebles and then our front post double trebles and then uh, yarn over pull through two loops four times so it is a little bit tricky but you want to pull these stitches forward and work into those previous skipped front post stitches so again yarn over three times insert your hook in behind the stitches just worked around the post of the second of the three skipped front post stitches yarn over and pull through two four times and then you have one more around the final skip stitch yarn over pull through two four times just like so so you should have the stitches lying underneath of that first set that you worked you're then going to in the previous row skip the next three stitches half double crochet into your next stitch work a front post double crochet around each of the posts of the next two stitches half double crochet into your final stitch chain one and turn your work for row five half double crochet into your first stitch work one front uh, back post double crochet stitch around each of the next two stitches half double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches all the way across until you have three stitches remaining when you have three stitches remaining front post double crochet around eat the posts of each of the next two stitches and finish off with a half double crochet stitch in your final stitch chain one and turn your work now for the rest of the pattern we're going to repeat rows two three four and five until our work from the beginning measures the desired length for the adult size which i'm working here it's about 20 inches because it does have a little bit of a stretch so work until your work from the beginning measures approximately 20 inches repeating rows two three four and five and then meet me back here I am going to go ahead and work row six here for you which is the repeat of row two just because it does look slightly different than uh, the row two was originally worked so what we're going to do start with that half double crochet into the first stitch and front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches half double crochet into the next stitch we're then going to skip the next four stitches one two three four and around the posts of the next three front post stitches we're going to work front post double treble stitches so skip four stitches our next front post stitches two rows below work one front post double treble stitch around each of the next three stitches
in your previous row, you're going to skip the next three stitches, half double crochet into that next stitch. Now working in front of our post stitches that we just worked, we're going to reach back into the previous skip stitches, front post stitches, three, two rows below, and work one front post double treble around the post of each. So bring your hook in front, insert around the post of the first skipped front post stitch, and complete the front post double treble. You're going to do that around each of the next two skip stitches. Up top, in your previous row, skip the next three stitches and half double crochet into your next stitch. We're now going to work one front post treble stitch around each of the front post stitches two rows below. Yarn over twice and bring your hook. Now this, these stitches may have fallen in behind your other cable stitches so you're just going to make sure that you pick them up and work one front post treble around each. Up top of your previous row, skip the next three stitches, half double crochet into your next stitch. Work one front post double crochet around the post of each of the next two stitches. And finish off your row six with a half double crochet into that final stitch. So continue to repeat rows two, three, four, and five until your work measures approximately 20 inches. Once you have worked your 20 inches of your cable pattern, now I've stopped a little bit earlier here, I've only worked about 10 inches because I want to show you how to uh, put your two ends together. You're going to finish off on a row four. Uh, so you're not going to work that final half double crochet row, simply finish off on your row four just like so. You can leave your yarn attached, we're going to chain one. You're then going to take your two short ends and match them up, place them together. And all we're going to do for our seam is making sure that you're not skipping any stitches and that your stitches are aligned on both sides. You're going to slip stitch in each stitch working through both thicknesses across. So insert your hook through the first stitch insert your hook through the second stitch on the opposite side which will be a chain stitch for your starting chain three and then slip stitch. You're going to do this all the way across working through both thicknesses of your ear warmer. Continue going all the way across, just like so. If you would rather not uh, slip stitch it across, perhaps uh, you're a little bit more talented at sewing than I am, you may also sew your two ends together and you might be able to hide the seam. There is a seam along the back of this, which I usually hide with a little leather tag uh, if I'm finishing it completely, but you might be able to hide the seam a little bit more. So you're going to slip stitch in each stitch, continue all the way across.
have about three stitches left here. Once you come all the way across, you can fasten off and weave in your ends and then turn your ear warmer right side out and your cable should match up relatively there. And that's all there is to working your braided cable ear warmer. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.